Hello students, welcome to the lecture on linear equations in one variable. Today we will learn what are linear equations in one variable, how do we write them and how do we solve them. But before we dive into that, let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever wondered how much money you need to buy a certain number of chocolates? Or how many hours you need to study to score a certain percentage in a test? These are all examples of situations where you need to find the value of an unknown quantity. And this is what we will learn today. But before learning how to solve a linear equation in one variable, we will first learn about what are variables, constants, algebraic terms, algebraic expressions and algebraic equations. With the help of a simple example, let us first understand what are variables and constants. Suppose you want to buy X number of chocolates and each chocolate costs 10 rupees. Then the total amount of money you need to buy X chocolates will be 10 times X or simply 10x rupees. Here, x is a variable, which means it can take any value depending upon how many chocolates you wish to buy. And 10 is a constant, which means that it does not change its value. So, remember this. Variable changes its value, but constant never changes its value. Now, what is a term? A multiplication of constants and variables is called an algebraic term. For example, in the previous example, 10x was an algebraic term. Similarly, 5y, 3z, 1x, etc are all algebraic terms. Now what are algebraic expressions? When we write one or more algebraic terms together separated by the operations of plus or minus, it becomes an algebraic expression. For example, 10x plus 5y 4y minus 9 plus 3z, 2x plus 7y minus 5, etc. are all algebraic expressions. Now, what if we want to compare two algebraic expressions using an equal sign in between? For example, what if I say that the amount of money you need to buy X chocolates is equal to the 20 rupees in your pocket? Then we can very easily write down that 10X is equal to 20. Here, 10X is the algebraic expression on the left side of the equal sign and 20 is the algebraic expression on the right side of the equal sign. This as a whole is an equation. Now let's come to the name of the chapter. What is a linear equation in one variable? A linear equation in one variable is a special type of equation that has following features. As the name suggests, it has only one single variable usually denoted by x, y or z. Now, what does linear mean? It means that the variable has power of 1, which means it is not raised to any other exponent like 2, 3, etc. For example, x minus 7 is equal to 3 is a linear equation but 
x square minus 7 is equal to 3 is not a linear equation because here x is raised to the power of 2. Now, let's come to the fun part. How to solve a linear equation in one variable? The main goal of solving a linear equation in one variable is to find the value of variable that makes the left hand side, that is the LHS of the equation, equal to the right hand side, that is RHS of the equation. For example, if we have the equation 10x plus 5 is equal to 25, we want to find the value of x such that LHS, that is 10x plus 5, becomes equal to the RHS, that is 25. Now, let's learn how to solve this. First of all, we know that in an equation, the LHS is always equal to the RHS. So, whatever operation it be, plus, minus, multiplication or division, we do on the LHS, we have to do the exact same on the other side. Let's look at the example. 10x plus 5 is equal to 25. Now here we need to find the value of x. How do we find it? Well, we will have to remove the numbers that are with the x on the LHS in this equation. 10 and 5 are there on the LHS with x. Let's first try to remove 5. And how do we remove it? We know that plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, in step 1, just subtract 5 from the LHS and in the step 2, do the same on the RHS so that the equation remains balanced at all the times. Now, the equation becomes 10x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 25 minus 5. That is, 10x is equal to 20. Now, it's very easy to find x. We just need to remove 10 now that is on the LHS. And how do we remove that? We know that 10 upon 10 is equal to 1. So, only x will be left on the LHS. So, in the step 3, just divide the equation by 10 on both the sides, that is LHS as well as RHS. Dividing with 10 on both the sides, we get 10x upon 10 is equal to 20 upon 10, that is x is equal to 2. Now, you might find this method big. So, we have a shortcut method. Just shift all the constant terms to the RHS and change the sign. This is called the method of transposing. Let's understand how do we apply this in the previous question. We had the equation 10x plus 5 is equal to 25. Here, the constant on the LHS is 5. Let's shift it to the RHS. The equation becomes 10x is equal to 25 minus 5. Notice that how we changed the sign of 5 from plus to minus. This is because behind the scenes, we are actually subtracting 5 from both these sides. But since 5 minus 5 is 0, we are skipping writing minus 5 on the LHS. So, the equation now reduces to 10x is equal to 20. Now, shift 
10 from the LHS to the RHS. That becomes x is equal to 20 upon 10. As you can see, when 10 was on the LHS, it was multiplied with x. But when we shifted it to RHS, we changed into division. So remember the following things. If a constant is added or subtracted to a variable, we shift it to the RHS and change its sign. If a constant is multiplied to a variable, we shift it to the RHS and divide it. If a constant is divided with a variable, we shift it to the RHS and multiply it. So let's try some questions. Find the solution of the following problems. First is 2x minus 1 is equal to 14 minus x. Here 2x minus 1 is the LHS and 14 minus x is the RHS. Now, our aim is to shift all the variable terms to LHS and all the constant terms to the RHS. So, shifting minus 1 to RHS and minus x to LHS, we get 2x plus x is equal to 14 plus 1. Now, Kindly notice that the signs of minus x and minus 1 have been changed because they have been shifted from one side to the other side. On solving both the sides, the equation reduces to 3x is equal to 15. Now, we want the value of x, so we will again use the method of transposing and move 3 to the RHS. When we move 3 to the RHS, the equation becomes x is equal to 15 upon 3. And we all know that 15 divided by 3 equals to 5. So finally, the value of x turns out to be 5. Now, let's move to the next question. Question says, Find the value of m and the given equation is 3m is equal to 5m minus 8 upon 5. Try solving this question on your own first. If your answer is 4 upon 5, well done students, you are absolutely correct. Let's have a look at this solution now. Here, 3m is the LHS and 5m minus 8 upon 5 is the RHS. Now just recall how we solved the previous question. Our approach will be to shift all the variable terms to the LHS and all the constant terms to the RHS. So, shifting 5m to the LHS, we get... 3m minus 5m is equal to minus 8 upon 5. The sign of 5m changes and becomes negative. Solving the LHS, the equation becomes minus 2m is equal to minus 8 upon 5. Now, since we have to find the value of m, we will divide both the sides by minus 2. On doing so, we get minus 2m upon minus 2 is equal to minus 8 upon 5 into minus 1 upon 2. On the LHS, minus 2 and minus 2 gets cancelled out and on the RHS, minus 8 upon 5 into minus 1 upon 2 reduces to 4 upon 5 leaving us with our answer m is equal to 4 upon 5. Now let's move to the next question. So question reads 6x plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to 
x minus 3 whole divided by 6. Now this is a different type of question. Here the variable parts are in the form of fractions. We need to simplify this equation to solve it. So in the first step we will take the LCM of both the denominators on the LHS and the RHS. So the numbers in the denominators in the LHS and RHS are 3 and 6 respectively. What is the LCM of 3 and 6? Think quickly. Yes, you are correct. It is 6. Now multiply both the sides with 6. The equation becomes 6 into 6x plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 6 into 1 is equal to 6 into x minus 3 whole divided by 6. Here the LHS is equal to 6 into 6x plus 1 whole divided by 3 plus 6 into 1. Now 6 divided by 3 is 2 so the LHS becomes 2 times 6x plus 1 plus 6. That is 12x plus 2 plus 6. Solving this, we get our LHS is equal to 12x plus 8. Now, let's look at the RHS. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So, the RHS simply becomes x minus 3. Now, because this is an equation, so LHS must be equal to the RHS. Therefore, we can write down that 12x plus 8 is equal to x minus 3. Now, we have simplified it. Just apply the methods we used previously to solve the questions. Shift all the variable terms to the LHS and all the constant terms to the RHS. The equation becomes 12x minus x is equal to minus 3 minus 8. Solving both the sides we get 11x is equal to minus 11. Now we just need the value of x so we divide both the sides by 11. This becomes 11x upon 11 is equal to minus 11 upon 11. 11 divided by 11 is 1, so x becomes equal to minus 1. So you saw how easily we could solve this question. Now with this we have come to the end of this video and we learned some interesting ways to solve a linear equation in one variable. We hope that you have understood the concept of linear equations in one variable. Now, here's a secret on how you can study effectively with the EduRef app. You can learn with chapter notes, watch video lectures and solve NCRT-based MCQ tests of all this chapter on EduRef. And that's not all. You also get amazing courses for class 11th and much more for your class 11th preparation. Thank you.